Hi, Fred from the Laptop Barn here. Today we're going to show you how to change the keyboard on a Dell Latitude E5590 laptop. Keyboard replacement uh, is not too bad to do. If you know the tricks, and we're going to show you that. Tools, you need a Phillips screwdriver, and we use a little flathead. You could use a regular screwdriver if you want to. We have a little pry tool that we use. Okay, the first thing you got to do from the top is take off the retaining, retainer that's on top of the uh, keyboard. It just pries loose. It's not screwed down. Put your little tool in, the, in that area right there, and you can see we just pry it off, and it pops right off. Okay, now there are six screws that hold the keyboard on. Six Phillips head screws, so go ahead and remove those. They'll all be exposed once you've taken that retainer off. So simply undo those six screws. And then once you've got those six undone, we're going to turn the laptop over because you need to re uh, disconnect the keyboard connector from the motherboard from the bottom. So undo the bottom case, several Phillips screws around the perimeter and in the center of the case. Again, this is just to disconnect the connector, which is located under the battery on the bottom. You could do this first before you did that first step, uh, or you can do it the way we're doing it, either way. Now, when it comes to uh, once you've got the screws off, use your pry tool and just pry the bottom. It'll snap off. What we're looking for is the connector that's under the battery. Typically, there's one screw holding that battery in and a connector. We're going to undo the connector. It just pulls straight up off the motherboard. That's the cable connector that connects the battery to the motherboard. And then there's one screw, and the battery will pop out. Under the battery, you'll see the connectors for the keyboard. These are zero and ZIF connectors. You just lift up the little arm like we just did there, and they just slide out. Simple as that. Now, once you've done that, the keyboard, since we've already taken the screws out of it, can will pop right out. You just put your pry tool under there and out. The keyboard will come, connector and all. Now you've successfully taken the keyboard out. And now we will reverse the process and put a new one in. Put the Fish the connectors down through the hole that you just removed the old connectors through. Place the keyboard. There's some tabs at the top. Put them underneath the little retaining holes. Snap it down. There's three on the side, too. Just snap them in place. That'll hold them temporarily until you're ready to put those six screws back in. So you got it in place. Now you're going to reassemble the six screws that hold the keyboard from the top. Now, we're not stopping to test. If you were, really want to do this right, you might want to stop and turn the laptop on and test that keyboard. Make sure it's good before you go any further. We're going to just show you the total assembly process. But if you're doing this and if you feel like you want to test it, you could test it at this point. Plug, in the, you plug it in the motherboard and test it. Okay, replacing the uh, retaining ring, it just snaps on. Run your finger across the top, down the side, along the bottom. And then down through the edge, and you'll feel it snapping into place. It strictly snaps into place. Okay, then you're going to reassemble the connector to the motherboard. You just slide them into the connectors. There's a line there that shows you how far to go, and you just bring the little retaining arm, snap it back over the connector, and it's that simple. Each one of them the same way. Press it in the hole up to the line. Flip the connector over. And now you've got it hooked back up. Again, you could do a test at this point. We're going to show you how to put the whole thing back together. And then uh, you could turn it on and see if the new keyboard works. Or during the process, you could check it just in case to make sure that it saves you some disassembly or assembly. 
Now you put the bottom back on. Snaps and screws into place. And that's it. Turn it on and check out your keyboard. Not too bad to do as long as you know the procedure. You can buy uh, keyboards. We usually buy them right on eBay. 20 to $25 for this model. And that's all there is. You're good to go. Thank you for watching. Please uh, uh, subscribe to our channel. And good luck in your adventure. Fred from the Laptop Barn over and out.